All right, so I see a product, don't know what else to do, so I'm thinking product rule backwards integration by parts. I can choose either function to put here. I'm going to choose actually to differentiate the sine 2x and anti-differentiate the e to the x, just because I know my derivatives of these a little bit cleaner. So um, derivative of sine 2x is cosine 2x times a 2. Antiderivative of e to the x is just e to the x. You examine that bottom rung and you're like, well, that doesn't look much better. I'll keep going. Take another derivative, you're going to get uh, negative sine 2x times another 2, so 4. Take another antiderivative, you get another e to the x. And you examine the bottom rung again, and you're like, gosh, that doesn't look like I'm getting anywhere. But it looks familiar. That e to the x sine 2x is what you started with. If you kept going, you would go in circles. Don't do that. Stop here. And so what we've got is our original function that we're trying to find is supposed to equal, remember it's plus the minus the plus, so that times that, that times that, and then you're the bottom. So it's e to the x sine 2x minus 2 e to the x cosine 2x minus 4 times the integral of e to the x sine 2x dx. So this is an equation, and I've got the same thing on both sides, so it's totally legal for me to add the same thing to both sides. Add four of these integrals to both sides of your equation. So now I've got five of these integrals, e to the x sine 2x dx, equaling the mess that left, that's left behind, because that cancels out. So 5 integral e to the x sine 2x dx equals e to the x sine 2x minus 2 e to the x cosine 2x. The only thing left to do to solve for this integral that's what we want is to divide by 5. So my final answer is the integral e to the x sine 2x dx equals 1 fifth this mess. e to the x sine 2x minus 2 e to the x cosine 2x out of c, and it's done.